My identity every single day was, I'm gonna show up for work, I care what people think about me, the way I dress, the way I behave, the way I do my hair, everything was based on what other people perceived of me and I realized I was, I was living my entire life that way. And you know who the person was that changed my life? It was Bethany Willis. I was hitting my budgets, we were doing everything on time and on the third house she was like, why aren't you in real estate? I go, I am in real estate. She says, no, you're not. You're lying to yourself if you think you're in real estate. I go, no, look at all these houses I'm touching. She's like, yeah, you're touching my house. <laughs> yeah, and you're lying to yourself. Don't you want to get in real estate? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to get in real estate. Really, what does that mean? And then she said, when was the first time you tried to get in real estate? And she found out it was seven years prior. So for seven years, I had been lying to myself that I was gonna get started. So she opened up my truck, my tailgate, she flopped it down, she said, put your right there, we're gonna get you your first deal. And she, for the first time ever, gave me permission to like recreate my identity. And you know what happened when I got home and I said, I'm gonna start doing real estate? What do you think happened when I got home and told my wife? I go home that night and I'm like, oh my gosh, sweetheart, you wouldn't believe, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. What did my wife hear? My wife heard the man you married I'm going to kill him yeah. and, I, and I'm going to recreate a new man that you don't recognize because I'm not currently happy with who I am right now and I'm not living my highest purpose. And what does your spouse hear when you say that? I'm changing because I'm not happy where I'm at, which means I'm not happy with our relationship. And so now there's all this internal conflict and you go home and it's sometimes the worst place to be. And so my wife and I, that night, we were throwing cups at each other. Paper. You freaking don't understand me! <laughs> and all it was, like, was I wanted to change because somebody pointed out to me what was possible for me for the first time in my life. Everybody else was just showing me, here's how to go make money, here's how to pay the bills, here's how to take a vacation every couple of months, here's how to ask somebody else for time off. I did that for a long time. 35 years of it. Yeah, 40. and it, it was, it was be primarily because you got the information from the wrong people. And it doesn't mean they're bad people, it just means they didn't have the right answers. Even if you ask them the right question, guess what they didn't have? Any answer. The duration of your willingness to do work and where you need your payoff determines how successful you'll be. How many people went to school for six years here? Okay, it's interesting that you went to school for six years, yet in your real estate journey, your finance journey, your business buying journey, whatever that journey is, you can't even wait six months. You were willing to go acquire debt, to go to a school, to go get a job for somebody else, to potentially, hopefully, maybe, possibly someday retire. My biggest problem was, Bethany yells at me, okay, that solves my first problem, which is get into real estate. Now I know I should get into real estate, solve my first problem. My second problem is, how do I get my first deal? Where do I start? If you're in this community and you're not tapping into people, then that is the reason why you haven't done your first deal. And by the way, do you know how many people at Squad Up Summit have done their first deal? 76% of people at this conference have done at least one deal or more. Over 20% of people in this audience are currently making over 700 grand a year in this business. So there's other people that you'll you'll have conversations with. You'll, how are you doing in the business? Are they gonna go, oh, dude, I'm making $700,000, I'm killing it. Is that the first thing that's gonna come out of their mouth? It's up to you to crack that shell and understand that. But if you haven't done your first deal, it's because you have chosen not to. You've chosen, wow. I needed 42 more grams of protein. <laughs> so higher level problem is that people go, wait, I don't know, should I acquire rentals? Should I do wholesale? Should I do fix and flip? Should I do lending? Or should I buy businesses? What's the answer? The answer is all of them. <laughs> the, the harder question is which one do I start with first? Which goes back to the same question of who am I? Yeah. Which 90% of people have not answered that question. Yeah.